Hey, this is uh, Emerson and Ali from Alterax. We wanted to g give you a quick video on the assembly of the swinger. So you can get the swinger, the latch can be on and latch can be off. It depends on the packaging really. Uh, either way, the way you set it up is install it on your vehicle first. Just as assume this is installed. We got the hitch bolt tightened and then we put the pin in, right? So just Emerson, show them, you know, taking that out. I mean, you, you're gonna put that rubber mat on and and then you're gonna put the pin in just as a placeholder, right? So you have the compression disc, you got the pin. And next is the direction of swing. So the way we have it set up right now is we're gonna swing this to the passenger. So it's gonna swing out into the passenger. If you want it to, to swing to the driver the other way, you basically literally rotate this. So this end is on that side and then you do this assembly just like that. So Emerson is going to show us when you get the latch, the latch head can be off pretty much. Let me take that off so we can like kind of go through the full simulation. And so you're going to get the latch body and then we're going to take this head off. There's a lot of turns here. So go ahead Emerson, what you got? So you're going to get a 3 8 by 4 inch bolt with one washer and one nylock and then you're going to get two 3 8 by 3 inch bolts with two washers and two nylocks. The four inch bolts are going to be for your latch, the three inch bolts are going to be for the latch plate. Uh, so first thing you want to do is get your four inch bolts, undo the nuts, and make sure they only come with one washer because they only go on the nut side. The head side of the bolt does not get a washer because it doesn't fit next to the, the latch. So these you're just going to put through just like that and then line up the holes on, on the swing out arm you can kind of hold it with your finger bolt should go all the way through and you can take your one washer and one nut and bend it on these you can just finger tighten tighten everything later too same thing on the other side I like to hold the washer with my middle finger and push down the bolt with my thumb so that way you can get the nut on. Then what you're going to do is take your 3 inch bolt, take off one washer and one nut like this. Take your latch plate, this is going to go on the back of the swinger like this. You feed this through the holes on the side and then put your washer and nut on. Again, just finger tight and tighten everything later. That's so the, the head sticking up like that. Same thing on the bottom. Line up the hole, go through the arm, put your washer on and the nylock nut. Okay, next we're gonna tighten everything and then we're gonna put the latch bolt head on next as well. Mm -hmm. So we'll go ahead and tighten everything. So we got everything tight. Next we have the barrel. The barrel goes in the hole here in the latch system and then you have your catch basically or a latch head that gets threaded on. So the number of turns on the thread directly correlates as how tight you can get this swinger. Uh, so it's important to get that tightness correct and the tightness is set by the pin, the red pin as well. So when you have the latch fully engaged, one, you'll see that compression disc get pretty bubbly. And by, by that I mean it gets round and once it's on the vehicle you can get, he may have turned it one too many times. So he's gonna turn it back one time and see if he can engage it. I say he didn't have his uh, Cheerios today because <laughs> I think he could be stronger. Let's try it. Turn it, half turn and then try it again. Yep. Boom, there it is. See, he just <laughs> gotta think about it twice. So he puts the cotter pin in, and then the, the way to test this is you cannot pull that red uh, pin out no matter what, because that's what that tension does. So this is the setup basically once you plug the rack in, uh, plug the swinger in into the vehicle. You wanna keep the latch loose before you plug the rack in, but there's videos on that you can go see on our uh, video, on our channel, and on our videos page on the website. Again, this is Emerson. And Ali from Alterax, this is how you assemble the swinger.